Hello everyone, welcome to Cornflower Crafts. Today I'm up in the craft room and I'm participating in Hashtag Tea Tuesday. Our hostesses are Kathy, who is Kathy's Favorite Things, and Patty, who is Life with Patty. I will put their channels in the description box below. And I want to say this before I go on. Um, I also want to acknowledge Angela, and her channel name is The Traveling Crafter. She put out a video, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> whoa, she put out a video um, not long ago, I think she's done several since, but I will list it in the description box below so you can just click on it and see what she did, where she did tags, and she has... Um, the way she's decorated them, she can, when she sends them to someone, it's a gift of some sewing. Uh, the straight pins are on it. It is really, they are so cool, and she mass produces them. She does one after another after another. Super cool video. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, if you sew on your paper crafting, or if you make uh, sew with fashion, or with home decor, I'm serious. I think you will really enjoy that video. Um, and she, on that video, joins in on hashtag sewing notions, which I think is her baby. I think that she is the hostess of that. She also is joining in on hashtag sewing notions Sunday. And it was just such a cool video. I was like, ooh. I want to do something like that for Christmas. And, but I kept thinking instead of a tag, then I was also thinking two tags together and then you um, make a spine out of fabric and, you know, where you can open it up like so. And I'll show you why I did it. Yes, this is my um, tin. You probably recognize it from Hobby Lobby when they put it on clearance. <laughs> Let me see here. It, um, it's tough to open. And I got my Christmas a gift early from Handsome. It's sitting right over there. Um, he gave me a sewing machine. It's a genome. I've also heard it pronounced genome. Genome. But it's got no minute, y'all. No. <laughs> it is a gorgeous color. It's not pink, though. Um, but it is a beautiful green, bluish green. And right now, I have pink thread sitting on the top of it. And so, you know, those are my colors. And um, here's, here's some of my little goodies that come with it. But I wanted to show y'all, like these buttons and this um, thread. Check this out. It's a needle threader. How old and precious is that? These are glass buttons. I set those out. I want it to give an atmosphere of let's sew. Now, this, these are some, I got them on clearance. So these are some more threads. Remember, I got two, two different color packs of the um, Tim Holtz threads because they are so, so nice. So great. You can see for vintage as well, this group. Speaking of vintage, um, these are Prim's Cover Your Own Buttons. And yes, I made a dress for, I was matron of honor. I was widowed at the time. And um, so she had made all the other dresses. The bride made all the other dresses but mine. And she's like, well, you sew. So here, and I think, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think for the back of the dress, I had to cover 35 buttons in a um, satin maroon fabric. So that was fun. Not. <laughs> so when I see these, of course, they were originally 25 cents. The retailer is 25 cents as well. And they sold them, yes, for 25 cents. And you see, don't you love the writing? And here is, here's your pattern right here, guys. 
it's telling you just cut out your pattern and then cover these buttons yourself oh i remember doing that oh boy but this one oh here's some more self cover now these are the self cover buttons y'all okay <laughs> Just slide off the card, all ready to cover. And there's the pattern for this one. And this is a style A and a size 30. Now, this is what I was searching for, but I bet y'all get a kick out of this too. Um, if, when I would find vintage patterns, which was extremely rare at a thrift shop I used to go to, I haven't been to it in years. Um, this is a size four. It is an advanced pattern, which I've never heard of. And check out the dresses for these little ones. How precious are they? Just darling. And look, it's nice and, it's nice and um, beaten up and darkened around the corners. And um, it says that the advance is the precision pattern. No margins to trim, save time, and save fabric. Huh. Yeah, I've never used one. But anyway, I just absolutely love that. But this is why I got this out. Because I wanted to show you all, as soon as I saw what Angela was doing, this is what I thought of. I thought, oh my stars, that reminds me of my vintage um, needle book. Here you open like so. Hers, like I said, hers are the tags. So hers is, everything's right here. But I was like, ooh, for a Christmas giveaway, um, I'm going to do that. And as you see, they, they didn't use to put fabric to hold the needles. They put this foil. And the interesting thing is the design on this one this um, fuchsia, it looks like spider webs. Oh, actually, they all do. Okay, so I guess that was just the design. This is finest quality, happy home. 85, originally they were 85 nickel-plated, rust-proof, gold-eye needles. That's the finest quality. And don't you just love the artwork around here? I just think that is adorable and love. See, there's mama, there's grandmama, and there's the baby. And that's kind of like my life was. <laughs> um, yeah, especially mom and I and, and sewing. But you know what? She was so busy at one time in her life working and stuff. She didn't teach me to sew. I taught myself. That was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting when I made some mistakes. Um, as a young person, you know, early teens, I just cry. You know, I handled it real well. <laughs> but isn't that precious? I wouldn't take a fortune for that. So I was like, well, now, you know, with what I have to work with, because remember, I'm trying. Yes, every once in a while, I'll go and get a little something. But I'm trying to work with what I have as much as humanly possible. So what I did, I'm also in this video, I want to enter the open collab, which is hashtag stamp play. Um, Susan's Heartstrings has that. That's our hostess for that one. And she has inspired the daylights out of me to do more stamping. Um, I'm liking it more, but I'll be honest with you. I'm still, I'm still a little shy, but I am enjoying it more. Because at first, I was so bad at it. I was like, well, this isn't any fun. <laughs> I was like, am I supposed to be having fun? Let me put this behind me, y'all. So here's, speaking of stamp play, so one thing I did was get out my stamps. Let me show you what they are. These, which, whoa, here comes my thread and all that. These um, were put out and put on clearance at Hobby Lobby. This is um, Stamp Abilities um, a few years back. I had bought myself one. And then I was gifted one. So I donated the one I bought myself. And this is the one I was gifted. And I'm almost positive Craft Junkie. Because this is years ago. Craft Junkie gifted this to me. So I pulled those out. 
I pulled this one out too, which is another Hobby Lobby one that I got on clearance. Um, for, I was like, well, I love quilting, that's sewing. I love cross stitch, that's sewing. And I ended up not using them. <laughs> I pulled this one out, another one, Echo Park, that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance some time ago. And I got this out, not for this machine, because this is a very modern one. I, and I got it out for so lovely, you know, so lovely. I mean, that's perfect stamp for what I'm doing. These are the cutest things. If y'all don't have it already, um, there's, hopefully you can see it. There is the SKU number, and again, Echo Park. And it, they are adorable. They say things like, all good things come to those who craft. I like to party. And by party... I mean, stay at home in my PJs and do crafts. That's me. And then the answer is crafting. And it says, I don't care what the question is. And then someone let me know when professional penner becomes a career option. Eat, sleep, craft, repeat. So, but I got the so lovely on that one. And then, and Angela, I think, used these as well. It was the first time I opened these guys. Um, I got these. I must have taken that off, too. Because I got these, I'm almost positive, at um, Tuesday morning, which mine's been gone for years. Um, but I'm pretty sure Angela used these, too, as well. So what I did then was to get some muslin and then some cotton this is my muslin and then some cotton fabric and then just start a stamping and yes i did use my stamping platform because some of these i had to just keep going and you learn or at least i learned that trying to stamp on my cotton with distress inks it was bleeding some so i i went you know the permanent ones the archival inks by ranger i did picked raspberry i did pink peony or peony depends on where you live and i also did barn door so we got those and i think there's some more inks over there but anyway that's how the scissors aren't those scissors gorgeous came out and then i thought what i would do with this because i'm going to get some needles and some pens and some bulb pens and things of that nature in my gifts that are my giveaways and so what i thought i'd do here let me see where is my oh i moved them hoot nanny do i moved my needles where'd i move them to they were right on my desk oh well uh let's just take a pen out of here then let's put a pen in it <laughs> but i'm gonna have a needle and then place it like so, you know. They've got it, you know, they have it stuck in there in their design, you know, but as a needle. How fun will that be? And uh, so there's the thread. There's one pair of scissors. Here's another pair of scissors in that red barn or barn door. Here's the sewing machine, how precious, in pink. And I have the sewing machine in red as well, and you'll see why. And then I have the dress form. I only did one. Maybe it's over here, guys. I was just trying to, as you all know, I've been creating other things in the meantime. I had to put this away for a little bit. And let me put my stamps over here. And my stamping over here and this little piece of thread over there. That was pretty. So I have never, ever, never sewed on paper before because, and there's a great reason for that. I was told, don't you ever do it. <laughs> ever since I was 14, do not do this. That's over 40, uh, 50 years. Don't do it. Don't even think about doing it. No, no, no. Because, you know, some people, even with patterns, which are, tissue paper you know still don't 
Don't mess with that. Don't sew on that. Don't sew on paper at all. It's going to mess up your machine. I've been told that all my life. Well, that's why I told Handsome, because he asked, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, you know, I'd like a sewing machine that I could sew on paper and not be worried about. And I said, I won't use my other machine for anything but fabric so I can feel that I do what I'm supposed to. Now, a lot of people here on YouTube use them for both. They keep them very, very clean. They change out the needles and everything's fine. But in my mind, after hearing that for over 50 years, I'm like, eh? <laughs> and you might say, well, corn, that's kind of silly. But um, if your husband asks you what you want and you get your sewing machine on a very good sale where it's knocked down a lot, it's, the, it's an extremely basic machine. My other one for fabric is not. But this one is. This one has very basic stitching. Um, because that's what I want when it comes, here's what I want it to accomplish. I'm not going to sew on everything, um, because it's not me when it comes to paper, but there are certain things I thought would be fun to do years ago. Let me see. Where is it? This one. years ago. Oh, there's my red one. Y'all it was hiding. There's my red one. And this fabric, this is cotton, but doesn't it look like it was coffee dyed? I love it. So, this is what I wanted to accomplish. Years ago, I saw somebody sewing on paper where they did straight stitch, then zigzag, then straight. I think that is adorable. You can see, I'm, this is my first attempts. It's very, very rough. And I'm so used to going in reverse to make sure I lock down my stitches and all this stuff. So, yeah. It, yeah. Does it look bad? Sure. But was I, you know, was I trying to do something for the first time? Yes. <laughs> There's the bag. Okay, so, you know, I watched all these videos. Here's your tension. Here's what I use. And then somebody else comes in. Well, I don't ever use that tension setting. I use this. And it's like, oh, boy. So you kind of you kind of got to get out some cardstock or some paper or paper and fabric if you want to do that. And do your ruffles if you want to on experimental stuff at least for me not my good stuff yet so i brought that out and <laughs> this is too this is very thin cardstock and this kind of thick cardstock and as you see my um, stitch length was wrong that's too that's too close so i'm experimenting 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 i said experimenting <laughs> experimenting <laughs> i left the t out so here's what I've come up with so far. Um, we do have, um, have, these will be glued down. These are sewn on, but glued down. And that's because I'm just learning. And uh, you can do it even if you've been sewing on paper for 20 years, you know, but this is for me, this is what I'm doing. I left these out because I didn't know I wanted to keep them out because they're fun to play with, you know, when you leave your threads out. But this is, you know, I went straight, straight, zigzag, straight, zigzag, straight, zigzag, you know. And um, for me, instead of, because there's so many ways you can do this, your, your little notions booklet. As you know, you can sew in your um, closure. You can, uh, there's just tons of ways you could do it, but I thought I'm going to give, since these are both for my upcoming giveaway, um, and I had I can't work on these until after I finish addressing all my Christmas cards, but, um, and so this, I thought I, this is a nice gift too, to give the little clips, because even if, um, you know, you're like me and you, don't do this tons. You can still, this is great for if, you, if you're if you gluing something and you want it to hold. You know what I mean? These are great. So if you don't use it for what it's intended, it's still fun to work with. So that's holding on this and this, okay? And then you open it. And for right now, this is just for right now, I did sew in um, this muslin that I stamped on. And there'll be three needles, you know, in here. I did sew in 
um, this piece of fabric, which I got last year at Hobby Lobby, it is adorable. It's about gin baking and gingerbread cookies and candy and your roller and your candy canes and your measuring spoon, you know, the whole thing is adorable. And then this, which um, Angela, hers, I sewed that on this piece, on hers, she put in her straight pins here in the uh, felt. And she um, got out her pinking shears and went around hers. Um, my pinking shears are on the fabric here and here. And then I tore it here and here. So I've got other stuff planned to do in here. But that's what the blue one, I'll just save time, is going to be. As you see, I have also, speaking of blue, I have also done um, stamp the thimble on the bluish on the blue paper and also on um, rose there's a rose in the center of this one on that paper and fussy cut that out you know me and fussy cutting so this one is pink and green so here comes this comes with these three too you can tell the more you the more you sew on paper the better it gets now this is going to be tough to see because even though this is a darker pink that's why I pulled out the lighter thread, but it's a little difficult to see unless you're right here. But this one is the best one I did, and it took all these tries to get there. <laughs> and so, of course, you see both of them are inked around with Distress Ink, and I haven't put that in yet. And that's another reason why I'm, you'll see why I'm doing this later, because when I sew in fabric on the um, to the paper, by doing the sewing on this and then gluing it, I'm covering it up. See, you won't you won't see it. And um, so this one is done. I think this fabric may be from Hobby Lobby as well. And this is all about Christmas candy. And you know how. I'm, a lot of my subscribers love pink, and some of them don't. So there's the red and blue over there, but there's a little bit of red in here, as you see, with gumdrops and candy and peppermint and candy canes and bows and happiness. <laughs> hard candy. Look at that hard candy from back in the day. And then there's my pink felt on that one. That's as far as I've gotten because I've had a hundred other things I was supposed to do. And then um, I saw some challenges out there that I would not, because I'm so busy, I would not normally join in. But I, was, I wanted to be supportive, so I did. And um, so, yeah, this is, they'll, they'll look a lot different when they're finished. But that's what I've got so far. And like you all know, when it comes to me, I, if I'm doing something brand new, if it's it's a weird feeling because part of me is like, oh my, don't mess this up. I don't want to throw anything out. I don't want to be wasteful, you know, or anything. And at the same time, I'm like, this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. So that's what's happening up here in this craft room. But like I said, right now, I'm... Um, and I just got everything together to send out Susan's winnings. She is our winner, uh, Handsome's first giveaway. Bless his heart. He was so sweet to get those scissors. I, I thought that was fantastic of him. And so I had, that takes a while for me, you know, to get everything together and, and try to make it safe to put in the mail and everything. And I've been doing writing on my Christmas cards and stuff. Um, I don't just sign them. I don't go on and on except to our friends in other countries because they haven't seen us all year. But you know what? This year we don't have tons of exciting things to, to report on. You know what I mean? Um, in the past, Handsome used to do a newsletter even. And this is going on with corn. This is going on with me. This is going on with our daughter. You know, and the, But right now, it, you know, we're both working hard. We both have things that, you know, 
we do with the yard, with the house, with work. You know, that's about it. <laughs> we don't have anything. Woohoo! Super excited. So, um, my my cards are a little shorter than normal, but um, <laughs> but it. What I wanted to do was let them know that I was thinking of them. Everyone that we send a card to, that I was thinking of them and wishing them a holiday full of joy and blessings, you know. And I want to thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.